What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, we got Cam back here, and this is TWA Motorsports. Today, guys, we are working on a lot of projects, but we got the fit, we got the dually out. It's actually in the basement garage over there. We've been doing some stuff on it, as you've seen, but we got the 54 right here, and look, I told you guys in a video a while back that we had some stuff we wanted to do. First, I need to vacuum this thing, but um, I wanna take the door panel off this, and I wanna see if we can get the mirrors on. I want to see if we can get the lock rods in place. And I also bought a new set of screws. Um, I actually backed these off with some washers so they work for now. But I want to get this thing, I want to get all the door stuff knocked out right now. Uh, so we're going to see if our lock rods even work. I don't even know. So we may not end up using those. But I got new lock rods and the little caps or plugs or whatever that go that kind of screw on the top of them. Um, I've got new mirrors for the outside, which I'm excited to show you guys because I think they look... Um, they look pretty cool. And uh, I think I've got placement where I want it as far as uh, mounting it to the door. Uh, I'm going to test it one more time with Cohen out here. And uh, But first, we need to get what they call Jesus clips out. And that is like your old school window cranks. They call them Jesus clips because that's generally what you say when one flies across the room, or at least that's what they're known as. So I'm going to start by getting those three clips out. So we got three of those, and uh, I just use a uh, pick guys to push those out generally I don't lose them if you're careful we also have to um, unclip the door panel or the door card it's clipped in when we go back together however we are going to have to remove this piece so this painted piece it's just it makes it easier to get it back in so I'm going to go get my chair and we're going to take some of this stuff apart so these things have a like a little close out on them to take little Phillips screws. And my kit that I bought actually comes with that also. Gotta love this tweed, guys. But like I said, this door handle actually goes down now. I fixed it um, by backing it out with washers, but that's not technically the way it's supposed to be done. And then we got some really big guys here hold the door pan or the I guess the door pull into place you can see what I'm talking about I spaced it out with some washers and I'm hoping now that I look at this that the new screws I got are actually the right ones whoever did this interior even though it's tweed and I think he said it was done about nine years ago so that's eh, kind of the tail end of when this would have been popular but um, whoever did it, did a decent job. I will say that. Um, it's, it's well put together. These are ABS door panels where the factory ones were kind of that, kind of like headliner um, cardboard, I'd call it. But let me go grab our screws because I want to look at that now that I'm seeing these out. They don't look that long. Let's go check our new screws. So these are my new screws that came from I don't know, I'll list it in the description. I think it's 40 Chevy or something, but they are very close. Uh, they're just a hair shorter and maybe that's all I needed. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get those in. We'll definitely be trying that. Well, crap, no, we can't really try it till the door card's on, can we? All right, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me struggle taking these clips off. I generally will push the door panel in a little bit and um, look on the backside here, push the clips out. That'll keep the screaming down in case I do lose one. And then at that point, we'll just unclip it, get this out of the way. And then um, I think we'll start with the lock rod stuff. There is one other thing, actually. I bought the windshield wipers on these suck on old cars. Uh, and I think this has been converted to electric, but they still suck. And so I bought some polished caps to go over the windshield wipers because we won't ever drive this thing in the rain. And even if we did, they don't work anyway. So uh, that's another thing that I completely forgot to tell you about the start of this video but let me get these out and then we will get the door panel off i got the first one off without a problem that's what i'm talking about and each one of these has one so now that we got those out got a couple screws up top we take out and pop this sucker out of place um we gotta lift it up because it's it probably would be best if i went ahead and took that upper piece off but you can get it out without doing that. Sure can't put it in back. Sure can't put it back in without it. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna go grab my lock rod and we're gonna see. This looks pretty beat up. I don't know if the lock's gonna work or not. We'll just have to check it out. Back on this, uh, of course, in this, you're seeing it all in one video, but it's been a couple weeks since I've messed with this because uh, I found out that I don't have any keys that actually fit the stock um, area <laughs> or keyhole. I've got one for the trunk, but the ones on the side don't match the trunk. And so here's what I'm thinking. I ordered a set, they came in and they shipped me the wrong set. They shipped a set for a rear door car where it doesn't have any keyholes. Well, that's great. Um, so I'm thinking what I may do is I'm gonna contact a local locksmith and see if I can take my, the one in the back out and have it keyed, have these keyed the same as the one in the back and then possibly the one on the uh, glove box because I haven't tried it, but I don't think I have one for it as well. So it'd be nice if all the keys match. The kits that you buy only come with a driver and passenger. I don't know why they don't sell one with the trunk because I'd rather not have a separate key for the trunk. I'd like to have a key for all of it. But anyway, moving on, I want to get rid of a box over there. So I had Cam, he's sitting over here helping. Um, I had him mark around this and I tweaked it a little bit. That's why I've colored it in. But we have to drill two pretty good size holes in this car. So there's a couple things I wanted to make sure of. Uh, my neighbor next door has a 54 and it has mirrors on it. And my last 54 had mirrors on it. And so I was looking at some of the pictures. I went over and looked at his. Mine, the old one that I had, the mirrors were mounted here. Okay, so on this area. And his over there mounts on this area. So I actually like them a little better here. So not only did I have Cam hold them and then make sure that I can actually see out of them, um, I, I had him do that, then we marked it, but then I kind of put it up here and made sure that it, you know, looked, you know, somewhat good to the eye. You know, you don't want it like down here and looking all weird, but I think I like this location. So before I drill this, I've marked the two holes that would have to be drilled, which is kind of, I don't know, I don't love drilling. I mean, this paint's not perfect, but I still don't love drilling in painted cars. Um, I want to make sure that there's nothing behind this that's going to intrude with our, you know, with our mirror. Okay. So we need to make sure that our wing window, you know, there's some, there's a piece that kind of continues on that mounts it down here. We don't want to get in the way of the regulator going up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the window up and down a couple times. I'm going to put my fingers back behind here up in the inside of the door make sure we don't have any interference. If we don't, we're gonna see what size drill bit we need and we're gonna to go to town drilling these and hopefully mounting at least this side. Now, I will tell you that my neighbor said he can't see a thing out of his passenger one and I don't care where you mount that one, guys. It just, you just don't have any vision. Um, it's more for just looks than it is. Uh, and I'm pretty, I like things symmetrical. So I am gonna put one on the passenger side, but I doubt it's gonna be for any kind of use. Uh, you'd have to be setting in the passenger seat in order to see what you're looking at. Uh, you'll notice that 55 over here does not have a passenger side mirror, but it does have a driver's side. But anyway, let's see if we can mark this and drilling will be next. As much as I hate drilling in a car, I checked back behind there. The closest thing to it um, were actually the pieces that hold this piece of trim on, which I had to put on by the way. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill this. Not exactly sure what drill bit size to use, uh, because there's there's no nut on the back of these, which is wild to me that it wouldn't have a nut. It's literally, it's almost like a sheet metal screw that mount these things. And I remember my other one being like that. It's just odd to me. There are two rubber inserts. So let's go over here and look at what we've got before we get crazy drilling. Let's see here. This is what we've got. So these little inserts, you can see they go into the door. So I would imagine we're gonna have to drill it just a hair bigger than that, and there's no instructions. But then this will kind of crunch down on it. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see. I'd rather drill small ones and work my way out than drill a big one and be like, crap, now what am I gonna do? Well, I've used my center punch, and you can see that one of the holes isn't centered, and that's just because I actually went back and measured from the chrome down so it's uniform that's why this one's a little lower it's kind of hard to tell when you're and there's no good spot to put a level on it so i wanted it to be you know 
the same and we'll have to measure a bunch on the other side but we are ready i've center punched it we're committed now because there's now dents in the car and uh, i'm going to be using a stepped drill bit that'll give me a little more control of how deep i'm going and then we can test those little rubber inserts and kind of go back and forth you can see that i've got it started and at this point i'm going to peel this tape off and uh i'm going to attempt to push these in i think i've got it real close to where it needs to be the other thing is i'm assuming these need to be the bigger side needs to be on the inside i would think i may be wrong on that uh, i may take a look at that rubber piece that goes around the outside but it seems to me like you would want the most grabbing on the inside um because they're you can see they're a little thicker on one side than the other holy crap those look like huge holes when you take the tape off um I think this will work though. I'm at 11.30 seconds on my stepped drill bit. I may have to go a hair bigger, but let's attempt to get those in. I'm gonna use a small pick and flat blade to try to push those in place. I want a nice snug fit. Actually I had to go up one more step. We're at a 3 8 hole now. And I really had to push to get that thing in there. So I think we're good. Uh, it's definitely not coming out. However, how good is it gonna hold the mirror? I don't know, this car's not ever gonna go that fast, so. Let's uh, get the other one in and then we'll kind of clean up our area. See if we can bolt that mirror on. I don't like it. Here's why I don't like it. Look at this. See how much movement there is in that rubber? And I've snugged those down and I took this piece out so it's just mounted to the car without the seal behind it. And I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run to the store and I'm gonna get some machine screws that's that same bevel and uh, we're gonna push it through. I'm gonna put a nut on the backside. Uh, I'll just feel way more comfortable. That, that's just too much movement on this thing for my, in my opinion. And I don't necessarily love this either. It, um, see, if, see this, it kind of like, it's supposed to press in as it goes in. This is not gonna hold that mirror on. Those pieces of rubber, should have known that. Just got back from my local hardware store and I got a couple machine screws that will work and i just took this one in with me got the same length because the length's good uh, i got a nylock nut and then i got a couple washers to experiment with i got some smaller ones and some bigger ones with a small hole in the middle if i can use the big ones i'm going to use that um if not then obviously we'll go with the smaller ones but uh, i think this will work not only is that fitting i don't have a nut on the back of it yet so it helps that those rubber inserts are in there and I'm not going to use the piece of rubber that goes underneath it. I don't like it. And uh, this is definitely gonna hold. I think this will look good. Oh, it worked. I was able to use the big washers. There was enough room, enough flat surface there. And I didn't get really crazy tight, but I definitely like it without, and it's nice and sturdy now. Um, the movement you're seeing is just the movement in the metal, I suppose. but. Wow, what a difference. Okay, I've already drilled the holes on the other side. I still have to take that inner door panel off though. That looks really good. No complaints here on that. Now, functionality wise, they're terrible. Um, I've set that one where I can see, but like I said, the other one's just gonna be for looks. I've not had a lot of luck locally finding somebody to rekey this. So for now, we're not gonna mess with it. I may go ahead and put the lock rods in, but just know that you can pull these out, they say, uh, the handles right behind this. You see there's a little metal clip right there. That little metal clip right there is what releases the door handle. So I think a guy could probably do it without pulling the door handle off. But anyway, we got the mirrors on. We got, um, that's, that's the main thing I wanted to do. I did get the lock rods. I don't know, like I said, I may go ahead and put them in. It'll give you the ability to lock it. Uh, but you got to be real careful not to lock it and then not be able to get in. Uh, the other thing is I have these that I showed you. I just got to figure out how to get these off here. I think there's just a release right there. So we're going to go grab a flat blade screwdriver and see if we can get, I think that that releases it right there. If we can, we're going to pull these off and see if we can get our polished caps on. Got me a cinematographer here in the making. I think if we just pry that up, work this back and forth, this will come off. At least I think that's how it works. Maybe wrong, guys.
There it comes. It's coming. Oh, these are the. Try not to scratch your paint. Oh, I just pushed it back on. Okay, you get the idea. This is how it comes off. Probably a good idea to take your actual wipers off. It keeps going back in. Oh, we're so close. All right, we're gonna fight this off camera probably. We're so close, Cam. There it is. Got it. So that is the release right there. See that guy? That releases it. Just been on there a while. Now how these work is they just have a set screw can see and it comes with the tool too. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start them just so I'm not fighting it over there by the car but then set them on, run the set screw down. I'm gonna try to put the set screw on the bottom if I can so we don't have to look at it and it doesn't retain water when I'm washing it. Obviously with putting these on you're planning on not driving it in the rain. Those windshield wipers sucked anyway. Um, they didn't even touch the window. I remember how I said I was gonna put it at the bottom. Yeah there's just not enough room to get in there so I put it on the side. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other. So these are pretty simple to install. Just put them on and snug it down with the provided tool. Just be careful not to hit anything. Just looks a lot cleaner with that and the mirror. So now all I have to do, and I won't watch you guys, <laughs> I won't let you watch me suffer through this, but I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put the lock rods in. I'm just afraid that somebody will inadvertently lock it, but I do need to take all this stuff back off because we have been driving this thing and I just want to go ahead and put the panels on until I can find me somebody to do the lock rekey or find a new set of like a complete set of locks for like the because we need four we need one for the glove box one for the trunk one for each side here so if I can find a set of four that are all keyed the same then I'll do that and I may have to source that used we are all finished up here and um we got the door panels back on i went ahead and put the lock rod in but guys it doesn't work on this side it actually works on the other side but this one i don't know there's some issues with it it's still opening i think it looks a lot better with the mirrors it definitely looks a lot better with these as opposed to the gross windshield wipers that didn't even touch the window let's push this back let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like I said, this one works. I'll show you. See that? Hear it? Got to be careful not to lock it since we don't have a key. But let me know what you guys think. The main thing here was the mirrors, obviously. And um, I'm excited to have the mirrors on. This one, like I said, guys, is almost completely pointless. But the one on the other side does give me the ability to like back under the lift and whatnot and uh, not hit anything. So... All in all, I think, guys, this car is probably going to go down the road. When I say that, um, I mean, I'm, I've got it listed for sale. Got a couple people interested, which is another reason why I wanted to go ahead and get the door panels in. Uh, I think I've got a guy coming to look at it. I don't necessarily know how, you know, how serious he is. But, yeah, I just think that um, I'd like to find something... Well, first of all, I'd like to clear out some stuff in the shop. I'd really like to focus on getting the 55 on the road. Uh, and in the meantime, get the Trans Am knocked out because four of us can fit in the Trans Am and then work on the 55 once the Trans Am's back together. So I don't know what, what's going to get accomplished in the next few months, but hopefully, guys, this thing will be gone. I do like to look at it, so it's not going to hurt my feelings if it sets around and we will drive it if it's here. But uh, let me know what you think of the new mirrors the new wiper covers and uh, the new parts that we put on the door. Go down there and hit the comments and let me know about it. Of course, like always guys, if you are not subscribed, go down, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell notification. That will notify you every single time we drop a new video. And Cam, what do they need to do? Stay, stay tuned to what? Work to see what we work on next. That is right. See what we work on next.